Welcome to another edition of At Home with Winning Appliances. I'm Kate McGlone, showroom design lead at Winning. Today I'm with Darren and Simona from Minosa to discuss bespoke kitchen design. Hi. How's it going? Very good. Thanks for joining us here today. It's always great to be here. Darren and Simona, a bespoke kitchen can really improve the happiness and functionality of someone's life. What is your first tip for our viewers at home that are looking to redesign their kitchen to become more functional? For us, it's more about the active and passive. That's what modern life is um, and when you're dealing with lots of different aspects of living in an open plan kitchen especially um, the triangle sort of takes a back seat and the active passive zones become at the forefront of design. The 1946 working triangle came out of a u-shaped kitchen because that was typical you know most kitchens were on three walls with one island that was that was adjoined so the working triangle made a lot of sense today we're talking about kitchens that are seven meters long four meter island units. Yeah, so we're not talking about the same type of kitchen. We're talking more about galley style with an island. We're talking L-shaped with an the island. These are the styles. So we have to be thinking in a more contemporary way. What are our tips for any viewers at home that are looking to do some space saving in and around the kitchen? My number one tip for, for space saving would be to increase the depth of your bench tops. And in doing so, you actually are able to increase the depths of your drawers, which allows you to actually maximise storage under bench. My number one tip would be to think about some appliances, and there's one in particular. Open your fridge, you'll have a water bottle for the car, a water bottle for the gym, kids will have water bottles for school, there's four people in the house, if there's four people in the house, there's 12 water bottles. Yeah, so think of something like a zip tap, where you can grab it, chilled, off you go, that's four water bottles. So that's a lot of space saved in a kitchen, in a, in a uh, fridge right there like that. Darren Simona, what advice do we have for viewers at home that are looking to select the correct bench top finish to reflect their cooking style? The first thing you need to ask yourself is, do I cook a lot? If I don't cook a lot, then beautiful surfaces like marble are really practical because they look great. If you're going to be rolling pastries every week or every second day or whatever it might be, then you might look at something that's a little bit more hygienic, like a, a solid surface or a porcelain based product. There's lots of questions to be asked before that final decision. It's a very important one and we believe that it really is based on how, how you cook, how often um, and whom you cook with. So it's, yeah, it's a, and also your budget. Would you as, as designers say that they are restraints on the overall look and feel if budget is in play? First thing you've got to understand is what's my problem? Yeah, because design isn't just about making something pretty. Design is about making something that's highly functional, that solves a problem. The, the aesthetic of something is a result of that action. That's right. So I think you've got to first really understand what is my problem and how much is it then going to take to solve my problem? And then go, okay, well that is X amount. Let's price that and then let's look at how much we're going to spend on the solution. Instead of going spreadsheet, this is how much I want to spend because you won't get the results. There's plenty of sales pitches out there that will offer you you know, laminate prices for marble or marble for the price of laminate, however, however you want to read into it, but it's not, it's not right. You know, you, you really have to be conscious of the dollars, um, you have to be realistic of what you want to spend. Realistic is the key word. And, and, and you, have to, um, you have to be, I guess, um, well informed. What tips do we have for renovators at home that are looking to brighten their kitchen and dining area? There's a lot of shows on TV at the moment that will tell you change the handles, change the knobs. That's always a good start. Um, but a paint job is a really nice way to refresh the whole space. Um, sometimes it is a matter of just, you know, I guess, brightening the paint finish in a room to actually add more light, which therefore reflects better on the surfaces already in the space. Um, your lighting is a good way to probably enhance the, the space. Um, quite often people are working under fluoro lights which, you know, cast a, you know, quite a horrible sort of blue and shadowy um, glow on to... Yeah. yeah, so quite often if you go for a well, warm, natural uh, white finish, um, that will really enhance the space. What are your tips for selecting the right finishes to reflect someone's personal style? A great place to start is to work out, okay, what are my favourite colours? Well, how long am I going to be in this home for? Yep. And, and if it is a long-term investment and you're going to raise the family there, I would suggest that a great place to start would be to think about the colours you love being surrounded by. I think in key we're talking about the home and the home is where we live, so it's got to be something you're happy to live with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.
Darren Simone, is there anything else that you'd like to add today? I think one takeaway is that you should, if you're going to design something for yourself, you should really focus on yourself, not be thinking of resale, not be thinking so much of budget. I know it hurts, but really think about what you want out of it. You know, come in and use this wonderful facility here and do the cooking demonstration, Absolutely. book online. Don't just come in and look at one brand, come in and look at five. You know, they're here. The chocolate it brownies. Always, the chocolate <laughs> brownies are great. I can highly recommend the Rocky Road on the way out. It's, it's, wonder, it's wonderful. The showroom here at Redfern certainly is a great source of inspiration and we're sitting here in the Smeg kitchen that was designed by Minosa, um, which is really stunning as well. So it's Thank great to have much. you guys here. Thank Pleasure. You. If you'd like more inspiring content like this, please jump on our Instagram or head to our website. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.